Hi guys. So the first slot of SNAP 2020 was conducted today from 11 to 12 and most of you by now would have got a fair inkling of the kind of pattern that we got to see. So the pattern had changed this year to a large extent because of the COVID complications and logistics. So we had a one hour test with 60 questions, no special questions and with fewer questions per section. Now when we look at the current analysis, this will be more of an overview of the test with a more detailed analysis coming up tonight where we will discuss the various question types, difficulty level within the section etc. If I were to give you an overall overview, certain salient features have come out prominently. The first being the lack of large group questions in SNAP. So for example, the verbal ability or the general English section had no RCs, all single questions, heavily dominated by grammar and vocabulary. Then your LR section, no large sets. Yes, there were a couple of two question groups, one on circular arrangement, one on input output tracing. In certain papers, for example, in my test, these were scattered. So the circular arrangement question would have been question 2 and question 20, for instance. Whereas for some other people, they were back to back. So this would have been an additional difficulty level for students. And again, in the quant section, while we had DI, it was more on the lines of the old CMAT pattern where you had individual DI questions. So no group questions. So if you see, this was one of the big trends that emerged from today's SNAP test where we did not have any group question or any sets per se. The overall difficulty of the test was very, very simple, especially with the verbal and quant sections being on the simpler side in a simple test. Yes, the DILR was, I wouldn't say it was tricky. It was slightly time consuming. So if you were to get stuck in a couple of series based questions or those typical uh, questions on snap which are a combination of common sense and physics there you might get slightly stuck but overall if i see this wasn't a tough paper or even a moderate test by any means i would compare it more to a campus recruitment test that you would take in your final year of graduation compared to a hardcore mba entrance test yes what happens later in slots two and three Near, remains to be seen but we do not expect the difficulty to vary drastically compared to today now what would be the scores cutoffs if i were to strictly go based on this paper we are hearing people attempting all questions and obviously we don't expect the cutoffs to go beyond 50 but considering that a lot of your toppers a lot of your brilliant students are going to have more than 50 attempts and they would be good attempts because in this test your accuracy levels are likely to be very high. So though the cutoffs might appear on the higher side, we need to remember that your SIBM Pune uh, call getters are likely to be the top one, one and a half percentile of the audience that took SNAP. So when I consider that group of people, I would expect the SIBM Pune cutoffs to be somewhere around the 46-47 range. Maybe if I were to be slightly more liberal about it, I would say go down to 45. But at least that much would have to be targeted because there is going to be a large set of people who are going to get those marks. SCMHRD might go slightly lower to so give or take one or, one or two marks. So if SIBM Pune is at 46, I would expect SCMHRD to go up to 44. So 43 to 45 would be my range for SCMHRD. The rest of the colleges, your SIBM Bangalore, your SIIB would possibly be in the late 30s. So 38 to 40. That seems like the expected cutoff for these colleges as of now. Of course, there is a huge disclaimer here that these numbers are likely to change and will definitely change once the last two papers happen because a lot of students would be attempting that second attempt then plus people who would have taken the test today and fared average would try and improve on their scores today 
so the overall cutoffs might be slightly higher when the actual results come out in part 2 of this analysis which will be slightly more detailed we will discuss the various question types and how we need to prepare for attempt 2 of snap going forward so for now the key numbers to remember would be that your 98 99 percentile and correspondingly sibm pune cutoffs approx 47 46 plus scmhrd 44 plus sibm bangalore siib etc 38 plus on the whole very easy paper if you are even remotely prepared you should definitely be able to score more than 40 thank you and wish you all the best for your snap slot 2 attempts thanks